I need to apologise for an incident that happened at the end of the last video. It's upset some of our viewers. In the last video I didn't even notice this happened, but somebody's told me about it and went back and reviewed it and it did indeed shoo away the stray dog. I'm really sorry about that, it was never my intention to upset anybody. Moment of silence for the stray dog. Hello and welcome to the Borrows Only RuneScape account. We're on a journey to 10,000 Borrows chests without ever getting experience or gold anywhere else but Borrows. Previous episode had some massive unlocks. We went from Mithril Daddy, we went from Studded Chaps up to Snake Eyed, and we made our first yellow cash stack, over 100k in cash. I was trying to think what to buy with this, maybe some magic armor or stuff, but I was decided just to buy loads more supplies so we can do a load of runs, make a good cash stack. So we put an offer in there for 10 Borrows tabs and then a load of Staminas, but Staminas wouldn't actually buy, even a wee bit over mid price, so just left that offer in. Bought a load more runes. And now we should be able to just do a load of consistent runs, make a load of money and get a load of levels out of the way. So in this one we're working our way up towards getting 46 range. It'll be massive because that unlocks the first decent crossbow. Oh and a boy was asking in the comments if we could show the stats at the start and end of every video so we can keep track. So there's what we're starting this one off with. Actually we've got 37 hit points but all the rest are the same. And yeah we got loads of massive upgrades out of the way. The studded to the snake hide armour and the mithril armour up to the addy, like it just makes us so much stronger and so much better. But unlocking this crossbow is going to be massive because then we can use emerald bolts E, you know those poisonous bolts. And they have a really high chance of inflicting a poison that hit fives. So we'll be able to use that to slowly kill all six brothers. So if we go down and kill all the melee ones in the bottom, be able to come up, poison and kill stuff up above. So there's the first range level of the video coming in, 32 range. And we're just heading down here, I've played it at times 50, so we've got like another 14 range levels to get out of the way quite a long way to go but because we've unlocked this Dorgerson crossbow in the last one as well we're pretty accurate down here and it's really strong so the range xp has just flown up from what we were getting most of our borrows teleport tabs have bought which is really good that means we'll have no problems with like coming back and forward and our bolt rack sold that's class but yeah them emerald e bolts they have a 55 percent chance of inflicting poison if you hit which is just going to be a game changer in this account it's going to be insane how much damage we'll be able to do with them because one hit it hits like five three times and four three times three two one it must hit like a 60 over time like it does a lot of damage there's 33 range coming in and eight of our teleport tabs have bought we're getting very close there's 34 as well so just another 12 levels will get us there there's 10 teleport tabs so we'll be able to come and go from borrows for a long time now before we run out of supplies and because we're so consistently doing chests now we're making more profit than we're using so i think we'll be fine with tabs the whole way up which is class, I really didn't enjoy walking back and forward in the first few episodes, but had to be done. There's 15k coming in, which is pretty good. Our last chest in the first episode got us, I think it was 60k, so not as good as that, but still pretty respectable like. And that's 35, so just 11 more levels till we can finally unlock this crossbow. 40 range should be pretty good as well actually, because that unlocks the green dehyde chaps. I'll not be able to use the body, because I don't have the quest. There's another chest coming in, 29k in these first two chests, not too bad at all like. Yes, I am fearless. Last time I actually seen that message, you just automatically click one was when I ran away from our rooms in like episode two. Definitely a lot less scared now, much less chance of dying. There's 38 hit points coming in. We got for Lord here and got 47 magic. And there we go, 36 range. So just 10 more levels till we unlock this crossbow. But yeah, looking forward to 40. It'll be a big upgrade in accuracy and stuff. If we had a bit more money, we could get like a the robin hood hat and the ranger boots well ranger boots are really really expensive but the robin hood hat would be a big upgrade this chest going to be good we've got two of the brothers lured down the bottom here and guthans and brax are both decent brothers we've got some expensive items so hopefully we can get lucky in this one. Oh, we got dh as well that's class we'll have a three brother trip but i did run out of food in the middle there so we'll just sell all this stuff and then we'll head back in open this if we get another brother in the way it'll be class a few more bone bolts and we've got 36k left out of that 100k we had Spent a lot of it in like runes and them tabs and just stuff like that. Yeah, heading back in here, two brother trip. Ooh, 31k, that is good. So we're ready. Oh, nearly forgot all our shit. Shit. <laughs> Spawn two brothers. Hopefully I don't get one to go back in. Ah, fuck's sake, I'm gonna die here. Two brothers on me. Arms and grills. Tank. 17, 12. Oh, I'm bound to be dead, 16. And Torags as well. Jesus. <laughs> I am I not dead? That's insane. Tanked about five hits from three brothers, as well as two at a time, still didn't die. Right, so we headed back down, done a bit more training, we managed to get 16 prayer. It was only 4 XP off for a long time there, just haven't been bothered burying the bones. 
I don't think we're going to bother with prayer. We're just going to leave it at 16. Not bother training it and do the full 10,000 chests without any prayer. Sounds pretty crazy like, but if we get ourselves a full set of just a sheer, just a sheer armor, and that is how I pronounce it, I had to Google it in one of the first episodes. A, if we can get a full set of that, then we'll be able to tank all of the melee brothers, even DH, because you can set him one square away from this safe spot. And if he does hit you a high number, you just sit in and then eat. He's pretty inaccurate. And then we'll just use it to kill all the brothers and we'll have no problem. This chest is going to be pretty good as well. We managed to get three brothers trapped and killed. But we ran out of supplies again. So we're just going to resupply, head back over. Hopefully we can get our first item in one of these chests. If we get like three or four brothers, it has a good chance. It's not like anywhere close to what you have with six brothers. But it's still pretty good. Managed to buy ourselves a mystic top. We didn't go for that one though. We went for just the regular ones a bit cheaper. And then we still have a good bit of cash left over and we're making money so that'll increase our accuracy a wee bit if we're killing like the skeletons or anything like that. And we also bought a load of Ring of Dueling because if you go into this portal and then teleport to Barrows it just leaves you at 100 run energy so that'll be a really good way to keep your run energy up. These here meat pies are insane so you buy them for 60, eat up the whole thing and then the pie shells sell for 55. I shall sell, yeah, sell for 55. It's like a tongue twister there. The only annoying thing is you always have full inventory, so it's very easy to forget stuff on the floor. So you need to start dropping the first two or three every single time and then just keep the whole rest of them in the invent. Or just drop a load of them if I'm not too worried about money. But yeah, unlimited free food. I'm not sure why loads of people don't use that. And here's another chest, and this one gives us 1.6k. That's nearly one of our lowest chests yet. Actually, no, sometimes when you just get money, they can be stupid low. Yeah, bought a load of pineapple pizzas. They're very expensive. It was kind of a bad idea because they just eat your profit. But it's just much easier to do chests when you have good food. But yeah, I think meat pies are definitely the way to go at low level. I think once I get higher up, I'm going to have to find a better food. Maybe summer pies would be good because they'll keep my energy a bit higher. There's 39 hit points coming in. That's pretty good. We've got Dorax Lord as well. So chance of the DH item in this chest. Yeah, I think once you get 40 plus hit points, we'll be pretty safe, but we'll not start tanking monsters till maybe 50 plus. If we can get 50 plus hit points and maybe 50 plus defense or something, get ourselves some granite, then we should be able to tank like Torags and stuff a wee bit. There's 38 range coming in, and there's another chest. Holy shit, that is definitely the lowest chest we've got yet. 244 coins. It's insanely low. There's 12k in chest 30. Can't believe we've done 30 chests already at this combat level. There's 39 range coming in, just one more level to unlock green dragon hide. That'll be a big upgrade like. I think we can just get the vamps and the chaps. Can't get the body. Is there a shield now? There might be a green dragon hide shield. I don't know if you need the quest to use it. But yeah, there's another agility level out of the way, just catching this wee mouse. It's very slow even at these low levels, but we will be eventually taking our way up to 30. We got DH in the thing there and he hit us for a lot, so we had to run out, no food left. Headed back in and here we are with the big range level. 40 range, green dragon hide unlock. The first dragon hide armor. So we'll be working our way up through green, red, blue, up to black like. I'm trying to think what's the best range armor we can get in this account. Cause I don't think we'll have high defense for a long time. So it'll probably just be dehide. I don't think we'll bother with like armadil or anything like that. Cause it's really expensive. You need really high defense and you don't really need that high range accuracy down here. I think we'll mostly be using magic once we hit the end game. There's our third level 40 in the count, 40 hit points. Now we've got range, magic, and hit points all over level 40. So much higher progress in the first few weeks than I thought we'd make in this account. It's good to see. We've actually got a second chest here in this trip and we have a load of food left. It only give us 1.2k there, but we've got those death runes and that 1.2k from two trips here. And we've actually lured three here in this third chest without banking. We might even be able to get a fourth one. These pizzas heal loads and we're just getting so much better at Doing the chest without like taking a load of damage. Oh, that's nice. 50k. That's a load of death runes. Because we've got five pizzas left, this might be our first ever four chests in one run. So that'll be class. To hit 10,000, we're going to need to do like 10 chest trips eventually. You know, get up to being really, really efficient where we can just go through and do loads in one run. But yeah, I'm not actually sure if we will make this. We're only half a pizza left. I stayed down here thinking I might get a fifth one out of the way, but it'll be pretty clutch. No, we are. Here we go. Five chests in one run. That's class. Must have made over 100k there without banking. All them death runes, the 1.2k, and then those chaos. Nah, actually it's only about 70k, but still not bad, like. 
gonna sell all these mind runes because we don't really use them anymore we're just using the chaos for fire bolt is it yeah fire bolt we're using to kill the brothers so we bought ourselves some green dragon hide chaps they'll increase our accuracy loads we also got 20 range in potions which means we'll get a lot more damage a lot more range xp per hour and we got 1k bone bolts so that should be enough to do us up to like nearly 50 range i think which is pretty good at 50 when we're the first full set because without that quest we can't wear green so once we hit blue dragon hide we'll be able to wear the full set but yeah we hit a bigger milestone before that and that'll be 46 range adamant crossbow and then emerald lee bolts getting so close now here's 42 coming in and our accuracy has gone up our damage is going up the xp is flying up so these last four levels won't take that long at all probably another hour down here when we get it but we'll try to get a few chests in the middle so here we are coming in with chest 35 not bad 34k decent amount like there's 41 hit points as well i think we've got like five hit points levels this video nah it couldn't be that many at least two or three anyway and there is a terrible coins only drop 578 coins it's useless and this one is 13k flying through these chests now that we have high damage down here we can just kill these monsters really really fast with the Dorgashin crossbow mind drains 1k <laughs> we're getting a load of bad chests though it makes such a difference if you have like two or three brothers killed you can still get them really bad drops when you only have one brother killed but if you have a few they seem really really rare so restocked for another trip here and here we are coming in with 44 range two levels to go uh missed 43 i should put the wee clip in yeah i missed 43 but rune lights save screenshots every single level and every single borrows chest so i miss any i can still get them from there which is class going on here we are coming in with our second last range level to finish this grind off there's 45 range just one more level to go and we unlock emerald lee bolts which is going to be massive love that chest 178 gp like the worst chest we've got by far i think that'll be hard to beat i don't think we'll get one less than 178 coins and there's 11k from that last chest we're going to go over and buy our crossbow now and a load of emerald lee bolts that we've got a good bit of cash need to be careful running past here it brings back bad memories i wouldn't want to upset any of our viewers but yeah we're going to head up here buy ourselves this adamant crossbow and a load of emerald lee bolts and then we're going to head over and finally get 56 range it shouldn't take us too long to get this last level so we'll sell all the stuff we've got and that gives us 60k put in an offer for a load of them meat pies they actually buy at 58 at the minute so leave that offer in there it's pretty much unlimited free food bought a few pizzas offer in I actually bought and then sold one of the emerald lee bolts so then you can buy a load of them cheaper than the price that people are selling them for if that makes sense like the low end flip price if you know what flipping is in g so yeah we left in an offer for 200 they'll slowly buy over time and then we're heading back over here to get our final range level it's going to be massive because being able to kill all six brothers will just make it so much more likely that we'll get items so it'll be a massive upgrade on the account i don't think we'll do it every single trip because it's probably pretty slow with the poison to kill them and if we want to get loads of experience at the start we want to be down here training as much as possible Ah, oh, there's all 200 ember lee bolts have bought that's class got them pretty cheap as well which is good 46 range and that there unlocks the adamant crossbow it's a bow that most people overlook and think oh it's useless you go straight for rune but those bolts the emerald lee bolts are really really powerful we're gonna end this one here if any of you want to hang out while i'm training this account i will be in my cc there busty chess and yeah really enjoyed making this one really really looking forward to getting the first item though it's took so many videos to get one but now that we can kill all six brothers we should get one in the next video so yeah thanks all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye